good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so we just finished our live stream reaction of smackdown shout out to the homie sir dance a lot aka steve and dub for uh you know being there with me and shout out to all you guys that was there for the live stream reaction we always have a good time when we stream some wwe for you guys got a few things to talk about tonight we got to talk about the new championship design uh for roman reigns uh title his new title or whatnot we also got to talk about what happened with the bloodline and uh things that transpired with the usos and roman reigns and and solo sokoa so we got to get into that but i want to talk about this first before we get into the the, the nitty-gritty of the show uh the qualifying match for um one of the qualifying matches for the money in the bank um a money in the bank men's side match uh that's happening at the money in the bank pay-per-view uh you got la knight versus a uh, montez ford and you can tell who was the crowd favorite here la knight was super over even as a heel he was super over great match obviously match of the night they put on a great showing they definitely it definitely looked like montez could win or la knight could win but in my opinion i don't think they should have been put in the match together to qualify i think montez should have been put with somebody else and won and la knight should have been put with somebody else and won because a lot of people like montez ford and i think he would have got a nice reception if he was going against anybody else but la knight is one of the most popular guys especially on the smackdown side of things and ultimately they went with la knight and he cheated with the roll up and held held the uh the ropes and he won and the crowd gave him a uh, uh gave him a <clears throat> I gave him a pop. They even though he cheated, the crowd and wanted it to happen. The crowd didn't care. I think it's one of those type of things where it's like whether he cheats or not, the people love LA Knight. And it's it's gonna be interesting to see if they pull the trigger with him at Money in the Bank and have him be the Money in the Bank winner. Me personally, I would not have a problem with that at all. I think that would be pretty dope, but we'll see. Who else will be uh, some of the competitors in that match? Also, I believe Zelina Vega was going against Lacey Ev Evans, and Zelina Vega ended up getting the win, and she's now a part of the women's Money in the Bank uh, ladder match as well. So I wanted to talk about that before we get into the Bloodline stuff, because Bloodline stuff, well, Roman Reigns' celebration of a 1,000 days as champion was the theme of this show. They started off the show with this nice promo package of just a timeline of when he won all the wrestlemanias he main evented and won and and just uh the people that he's beaten along the way but the thing that i noticed instantly is when they got to the bloodline situation they only showed solo and anytime a blood the bloodline situation was brought up in the promo package it was only solo there was no mention of the Usos in the promo package. And even Michael Cole mentioned that on commentary. The Usos are not even mentioned at all. Which is very odd to say. Well, very, very interesting considering the Usos play a huge part in Roman Reigns' title reign. There's no doubt about it, but obviously that was done purposefully. So, I think Paul Heyman ends up talking to Adam Pearce pretty much trying to make sure there's more security and making sure that the Usos are not allowed to be in this celebration. So he had a little segment backstage and pretty much, you know, he's talking to Solo, letting them know that the Usos won't be involved and all this other stuff. So Triple H comes out there and there have been rumors that Roman Reigns is getting a new championship belt or whatnot. So it kind of made sense once Triple H came out there and then you saw the the title underneath the uh on the little podium i was like okay roman reigns is getting a new championship belt so roman comes out there paul Heyman, solo sokoa or whatnot they give him all the pyro and all this other stuff and then roman uh well triple h tells roman uh, you know talks about roman and his this glorious uh momentous occasion of holding the championship for over a thousand days very impressive or whatnot storyline wise and we probably will not see this <laughs> for a very long time i don't think we'll ever see well i don't know but you know, anything happened but it, it may be a long time before we see another person have a long title reign like this 
it may even be Gunther. So I don't know. But um, so he's hyping it up and you know just showing them love over his, this amazing achievement. So they made a new championship belt. And once they unveiled it, I I was just like, wait, what? What is this? It it literally looks like the WWE championship, except they just added gold plates on the back. That's it. That that literally is it. They, they, they didn't change much of anything other than it has gold plates on the back. So, and uh, he titled it the W the undisputed WWE Universal Championship belt. So, my question now going forward, are they retiring the WWE and the Universal Championship? That's what I want to know. Are they retiring the WWE and the Universal Championship? Because they basically combined it together. It's the WWE, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship belt. So are they combining it together? That's what I want to know. If you guys have a better understanding of it, let me know down below. Because I personally don't know if they retire. Because it, it's going to look stupid if he's walking around with three championships. So I would assume that this would be the championship going forward. But once again... Me personally, I would have retired the Universal Championship because no one's going to get that title reign and just kept the WWE Championship. I would have literally, but I get they're trying to keep that going because it's over a thousand days. So they don't want to retire it. And I understand that because they want to see how long, you know, how long he's going to have it. You know what I'm saying? So they don't want to retire it. So I don't know if they're combining them together per se. So would the lineage still count? Because they're technically two belts. They just combined into one. I don't know. So we'll see how that plays out um, going into um, SmackDown in these upcoming weeks. If he's just going to be walking around with that. If he's walking around with that, then that means they combine the belts. And I guess the lineage of the other ones will be through this one. I don't know. It's kind of convoluted. But that's neither here nor there. I just not a big fan of the design. I just it comes off lazy. The World Heavyweight Championship, in my opinion, looks way better. This just, it comes off lazy. They just added a gold uh, plate, a gold uh, gold background behind the WWE logo. That was literally it. It's a little more gold accents, but I was like, yeah, that that's, that's kind of lazy in my opinion. But it is what it is. So that's when the Usos come out. The Usos come out. And Jay's kind of just in the back. He's, he's kind of in the back, pacing back and forth. Jimmy's the one making all the decisions, like, kind of addressing Roman or whatnot. He He's pretty much addressing him or whatever. And Roman, um, well, Jimmy's like, bro, I'm not trying to be the tribal chief. I'm not, I'm not trying to do, I'm not trying to take your spot or none of this. But, you know, this is, this is about family. This is, you know what I'm saying? This is about, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a protect my brothers. We were family. I'm going to protect my brothers. I'm going to protect Jay. I'm going to protect you solo. You, you know what I'm saying? Y'all my family. I'm not gonna let y'all, I'm not gonna let you disrespect us. You know what I'm saying? You you've been you've been manipulating us, abusing us, and being disrespectful to us. And he told the same thing to Solo, which at some point is gonna, you know, Solo's gonna actually be receptive to it. He's like, bro, when he's done with you, he's gonna do the same thing he's been doing to us. He doesn't care, you know? And Roman, you know, was getting annoyed, and he was like, yo. You, I, you hear the crowd chanting Usos. I'm the reason why they're chanting Usos. I'm the, I am the made y'all pretty much, you know? And and it's just, once again, Jay pacing back and forth. He's kind of indecisive, whatnot. And then Roman's like, you want to speak for everybody else? Solo, tell them, tell them, tell them where, you're, where, you, where your allegiance lies. And he says, I acknowledge you, tribal chief, but these are my brothers. And he stood next to him. Crowd goes crazy. And I instantly knew. I was like, this is not it. This is not the time where Roman's going to be by himself. Nope, 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 nope. They're, they're, they're setting this up. I, I I just, you could tell it wasn't, it, it looked good, but it, it wasn't the time. You could tell Solo at some point was definitely uh, <laughs> going to turn on his brothers. And ultimately, that's what happened. When Jimmy was like, look, we can, we can make this work. We family, bro. Let's make this work. Let's come together. Let's let's do this. You know, even Jay 
they said that you know what i'm saying because at one point uh i want to say at one point they were getting in each other's face and the boy jay pushed roman you know pop face roman and it's getting heated jay trying to get between both of them he's like yo we family we can make this work and then jimmy got on the mic like yo he's right we make this work we can run it like we've always ran it and then they hug and embrace and then roman selling it his academy performance he simply says no and then that's when solo grabs his own brother hits a samoan spike to a chorus of booze you knew it was coming and i was like ah oh, they're teasing it they're teasing it at some point solo will turn and they solo and roman walk up the ramp paul Heyman says what about jay and roman says Jay will do what he always would do, fall in line. But this time, I don't think he's going to fall in line. I think it's going to take Jimmy getting hurt from Solo or Roman, and Jay's going to say, I, enough is enough. And that's going to be the real catalyst because Jay has always been the one to pretty much take the bullying from Roman. Even when this segment started, Roman's not even looking at Jimmy. Roman is barking orders at Jay to kick him in his face. Like he kicked me. I'm not going to ask you. I'm not going to tell you this one more time. Kick him in his face. Jay has always been the one to catch the smoke from Roman. And I think it's going to be good storytelling to finally see Jay say, no way. It's been years since Jay has like damn near had a mind of his own. Other than the, the times where he kind of walked away. With the whole Sami Zayn situation, and you didn't know where he was. This is this is gonna be one of those things where it's gonna really tip piss Roman off. Because the guy he always thinks is gonna always follow him finally says, Enough is enough. I'm done with you. We're gonna fight. And I can't wait to that moment. So good build up. Nice, nice teasing of where the story is gonna go. Not a big fan of the belt. I think the belt looks lazy, in my opinion. The design of it, it, it doesn't look that much different from the WWE Championship. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but we'll see how things play out. And also don't know if they're going to have all three belts or just have that one, uh, uh, the new Undisputed belt. We will see how that play out as well. But overall, this was a uh, a decent SmackDown. I enjoyed it. So uh, I love the uh, LA Knight Montez Montez Ford match. That was entertaining. Um, I actually like the um, um, the the interaction with um, uh, I want to say it was Bianca Belair and Oscar. I like that little brawl they had. I also like that little tease of EO Sky coming out there to confront Oscar because I believe she's probably going to be in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, I like that. I like what they were teasing there because I definitely want to see that soon. EO versus Oscar, SummerSlam. I'm all for it. Or maybe later on down the line, I am all for that. So, but comment down below. Let me know what's your guys' thought on the new WWE Undisputed Universal Championship belt. Do you guys like it? The design. Do you guys not like the design? Also, what's your thoughts and opinions on the Bloodline story? And where, where do you guys think it's heading to? So, but I appreciate all love and support. Roll to 150K. And I'm still in the speed of YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.